I hope everyone had a great school year. Man, it flew by quickly. I'm Jeff Andrews, Superintendent of Schools for the Catholic Diocese of Salina, and I want to provide you with a brief update about the end of the year. As the weekend nears, we have a few graduations left and celebrations across the diocese. We have a few that have been the last few weeks as well, and it's been a busy time for all of us in schools, families, students, parents, teachers, everyone alike. Results from the state assessments are in and they could not be better. We use the state assessments to look at where we can improve and where our students are doing really well in. We also use this to improve curriculum and try to get it all aligned. But just comparing our results as a whole across the diocese with the state, we did extremely well. Leaders across our diocese at our schools are then going to dive in and analyze the data more at their school this summer so they can pinpoint some areas for improvement at their particular schools. The state uses a 1-2-3-4 scoring system, so you may be seeing a report come home with your child's report card sometime soon that shows you where your student is at. Um, and remember, that's just a benchmark, a pinpoint, a snapshot of where they were on that particular day when they took their test. Those state assessment scores don't go into power school for their school grade or anything like that. So it's just kind of a, a measure of success to see where they are. One area that warms my heart this school year is our implementation of the seven themes of Catholic social teaching into our classrooms. You can visit our website to learn more, but basically the seven themes of Catholic social teaching help show all of us individuals of a great way to live our lives uh, with our Catholic faith and how to treat each other the right way and build good, healthy relationships. For a few years in a row, the Salina Diocese has been commended at the state level for its success with students after high school. This could not be done without a partnership with our family, so thank you so much to you. Dr. Nick Campagnone and I were able to present to the State Board of Education about what makes our school successful, and it was great to talk to uh, the school leaders about what our students are doing every single day and after high school. Just recently, we wrapped up a five-year accreditation cycle, and I was so surprised to see how well we did. Now, we're all extremely proud of our schools and know they do a good job and try their best every single day, but when you have an outside visitation team come in and reaffirm that, it just really warms your heart. We'll have, look for upcoming news on that as we get a press release going so you can see how well we did, and then we'll look to start our next five-year cycle here soon at where we can target improvement areas. After two years of very different school years, it feels really awesome to be getting back to normal. I hope your students can stay involved this summer and engaged in their learning, their academic life, their faith formation, and in building strong relationships with their friends. Bishop Vinke's monthly prayer petition is for all the young people in the Diocese of Salina. May they have a safe and fun faith-filled summer. May they continue to hear and follow the call of the Holy Spirit in their lives. See you in August.